Hello, I'm Laura Bush. Clearly not the First Lady, but I am the younger Laura Bush. I just want to take a few minutes and share with you my story, a short part of my story of where my journey in life is leading me right now. It has a lot to do with my puppy dog named Andy that I'll tell you a little bit more about in just a few minutes. But first, my story starts with the loves of my life. The first and foremost love of my life is God. I am so thankful to the Lord for all he has done for me and given to me, namely my family, my husband James, our children and our grandchildren. And then I am thankful for seniors. I love seniors with a passion. I love being with them, hanging out with them, listening to them, learning from them. Never really enjoyed history except from the mouths of seniors that have lived through it. So I have spent the better part of my life since graduation from college working with and serving seniors in every area from independent living to assisted, skilled nursing, um, memory care, hospice, even home health. I love working with seniors and if I get to the end of a day and feel like I've made the difference in the life of even one senior, I feel like I have served God's calling. I have done that until January of this year when I needed to have back surgery. And from what was supposed to be one back surgery turned out to be three back surgeries in less than a two week period due to complications. And from an FMLA work, leave from work that was supposed to be four to six weeks into five months. At that point last month, when the time came when I felt like I was able and capable of going back to work, I called my boss and said, I'm ready to come back to work and be with my seniors. I love them and I miss them. And he said, mm, sorry, don't have a job for you. He failed to save my job for me or a job that was similar. So I found myself in limbo, wondering where my calling is leading now and frankly, without a viable income, monthly income. So in praying about it and asking the Lord where he wanted me to go, he reminded me of something else that had become a part of my life about two years ago. And that's where my puppy dog, Andy, comes in. He was a large 90-pound Catahoula that was scared to death of storms. He would just tremble like a leaf and run frantically all over the house, night or day, even before a storm got to our home because he knew it was coming. He would try and get under beds that weren't large enough for him to get under. He would try to clean out the corner of closets just to try and get in a safe space. He would just be frantic and just be in horrible fear. Until one day, thankfully, a coworker of my husband said, have you ever thought about using essential oils with Andy to try and rid him of his fear? Neither one of us had ever heard about essential oils, much less about young living. But then again, God in his infinite wisdom had already planned for us to go to a craft show at J.J. Pierce High School in October of 2016, that same year. Um, MJ Eisman and her daughter Krista Jatan happened to be there with a Young Living setup. Uh, they were one of the vendors there and we stopped and asked them a few questions about oils and could they help our dog with his fear. They were very emphatic that yes indeed they could make a difference in his life and help him to calm down. So we shared a bit more and they found out that I have arthritis and fibromyalgia and they were certain that the, the oils too could make a difference in my life. So we went home with the starter kit that day and I began to use the oils, not just on me, but on Andy. The most miraculous thing happened with Andy in that where he used to just pounce on us in the middle of the night when a storm was approaching, he now, in using oils, would come up and just nudge my arm gently and then go over and sit by our dresser where our oils were and calmly wait for me to come put his oils on him. We started with lavender, which helped a bit, but we ended up with a concoction of cedar wood and patchouli that we would rub down his spine and all over his body that just gave him the greatest sense of calm and peace that he could now endure any storm just laying calmly beside us. So to me, that was a miracle. And I had already started using and diffusing oils at night, which would help me to calm down. The chronic pains that I lived with could be helped with the oils. I could put them on topically, I found out, that would help alleviate the pains. They're not gonna cure the pains, but they certainly help alleviate the pains, as well as the stress and the tenseness and the anxiety that comes from living with chronic pain. 
So as I was thinking about that last month, God laid it on my heart that maybe I needed to start sharing about these oils with others, that possibly Young Living could become not just a way of life for James and I, but also maybe a way of life and a change in the lives of others. So instead of just hopefully making a difference in the life of a senior every day, maybe I could share with others, meet new people, share with others, and tell them about the life changes we have had because of using essential oils. We not only use them now on us topically for various reasons, we are trying to get rid of all the toxins in our home by using Young Living products. They have everything from laundry soap to bath wash, dishwashing soap, even to make up for me to help get rid of the toxins in our home, which I think serves a much more um, healthy lifestyle in every way. So now we, I'm going to try, as according to God's calling, I believe, to make a living with uh, Young Living Essential Oils and their products. The ultimate goal in our lives now is to hopefully not only replace my income, but hopefully one day to replace James's income by doing this business together. And hopefully in so doing, we can make a difference in the lives of so many other people, the rest of our family, our friends, and even folks that I have yet to meet that will bless me by getting to meet them. And hopefully we will be able to bless them by sharing Young Living Essential Oils. Young Living's uh, Seed to Seal process promises that from their own farms, all the things that come from their own farms, to putting the oils on our table, that everything will be pure and therapeutic grade so that they can truly make a difference in our lives. Hope this helps you, and I would love to visit with you about this at any time. Hope you're having a great day, and see you soon.